Hi everyone. Mary Ann Cowan here from Pinery Paper Crafts. I'm just pulling up the comments on my screen. Hi Nick. Hi Barb. All right. How is everyone today? I'm so excited. This was the suite that I was so excited about in the new catalog and we'll be playing with it in just a minute but before we do a couple of reminders paper pumpkin January paper pumpkin is always the Valentine's one so if you like to sell send Valentine's and I think during a pandemic and lockdown like we're in it's the perfect thing to do so the kit contains materials to make cards and then they have an add-on kit for only $11 where you can make all these cute little boxes um, with that adorable little snail. It's so cute. That's available January 1st. If you're interested in the paper pumpkin kit, you have to register by January 10th. The link is on my blog, MarianneCowan.com. Only two spots left in winter stamp camp. These are the cards we will be making. We're making 14 cards. I'm just going to give you a sneak little peek. And two each of seven designs. A couple of them are the same design, just different papers. Fun, fun, fun. And this cute little treat box. That's a celebration paper, actually. So that's coming up. Also, if you enjoy getting a discount on your products and would like to become a VIP shopper, you can get 20% discount on your products by purchasing the starter kit. And they always have a special deal during celebration. So this year during celebration, you get five, yes, five packs of designer series paper. And this paper is not even available yet. This is the design that's going to be coming up in the next annual catalog. So four, 40 pieces in each pack, 200 pieces of designer series paper. And you can check out yesterday's video where I did some sample cards using the different papers. So I selected one paper from each pack. This is Bumblebee from the 2020-2022 in colors. Knight of Navy is one of the neutrals. So this shows you what the pattern of the paper is. This is Real Red, part of the Regals. Pool Party, part of the Subtles. And Melon Mambo, part of the Brights collection. So if you wanna see how to make these cards, just click on yesterday's video. And upcoming classes, I'm having the January Lockdown Roundup because we are in lockdown. So January 9th is Winter Stamp Camp. January 23rd, I'm doing a class using the Snail Mail stamp set and dies. Adorable. And I will have some Valentine's ones in this class. January 30th, Hydrangea Hill. Some of the products I'm showing you today. And there will be an ordering special. It's tricky to do the classes now that you can't come to my house and use all my stuff. So I'm trying to be creative in how I design them. But anyone that does purchase the Hydrangea Hill suite, which you need it all really, you do need it all, um, we'll get the class for free. All right, so those will be posted on my uh, blog soon. I just was doing the details on these ones. This will be a regular class and this one will be a with purchase class, but there'll be some options in there as well. All right, so today, we are playing with Hydrangea Hill Sweet. It comes with beautiful designer series paper, which we'll be using some of today. And it coordinates with these colors and more, actually. That was the minimal list that I first saw. It also has these beautiful mercury acetate papers, which are incredible. I haven't used them yet. So, but I will this week. This week I'm focusing on Hydrangea Hill. So these are incredible. And it comes with a stamp set and dies. And this stamp set 
has a lot of stamps. I always take all my stamps, and these, actually this isn't even all of them. And when I'm creating, I just put them all on blocks. And this is not even all the stamps from this stamp set. So you do get quite a few. I will tell you, I did cut one of my stamps. Ah, I know people like gasp when I say that, but I don't know if I'll show you on today's, but I'll show you tomorrow actually, when with the cards that we're making. It was this one because I wanted to be able to stamp this in color and this in green. Anyways, it's easy to put back together. You just stick it on a block. But I did cut it. Beautiful, beautiful sentiments, and we'll be using a couple of them today. It's just an awesome, amazing stamp set. I have lots of hydrangeas in my garden, so I like to do them all. And all right, so let's get started. I did go ahead, I was just playing, so the way I do my weekly Facebook Lives is I um, usually play around with all the stuff and then design some cards. So I was seeing what all the different die cuts did. So there's one for these two little stamps, this one and this one. Um, there's one for this whole flower which I don't even have here. And there's also these hydrangeas, which I'll show you in a second. And then I thought this was the regular leaf, but it's actually, I think, an overlay. It could be an overlay for the leaf stamp. Anyways, whatever it is, it's gorgeous. There's this little shape and this little shape here. So I was just playing around with the different colors I thought I would be using this week and I like, you know me, I like to have lots of them on hand so I can just pull and play. So uh, I'm just going to slide this over here because it'll make a mess. Hello everyone, forgot to say hi, lots of friends on us, um, joining us today, thanks for, I really do appreciate it when you pop in and join me on my Facebook live so I'm not sitting in my craft room all by myself. And I do have a bit of quiet music on in the background, so if that's annoying, let me know. All right, let's get started. So, these ones I had designed, oh, part of some of the other things that come in the suite are the pastel pearls, which are really, really pretty, and the ribbon, which I just have to reach across and grab. I grabbed the one that wasn't open. So this is sheer ribbon and I'm pretty sure it's gorgeous grape. Yeah, it's gorgeous grape. Very pretty. So these are the things in the suite. The stamps, the dies, the ribbon, the acetate, the pearls, and I think that's it. If there's something else, I'll let you know. So I actually did color some ribbon because I wanted it a bit thinner. First card. So we have a gorgeous grape base. Then we have Highland Heather embossed using the subtle embossing folder. And that's going to layer up like that. Now, before I had got the dies, because the dies were on back order when I ordered the other things, so I didn't have these perfect little hydrange flowers. So I used the ones that were from the Arrange a Wreath set. So I'll just go ahead and use those because they're all cut out. Then I have Old Olive. I have one of the amazing pieces of designer series paper, which I'm going to overlay with vellum. And then I have my greeting and some little flowers. That's kind of the design I had in mind. So this is going to go ahead and be put on because I know I don't want to do anything, any ribbons around this one. I might do a ribbon around the next layer. Thanks for sharing, Patricia. I appreciate it. Okay, so we can go ahead and put this one on. Look how pretty the back is. Oh, this paper is so gorgeous. Okay. 
There's a lot you can do with just the paper, but I think you're going to want the whole suite. I just think you are. So I'm going to put this on first so I'll know where I can put my glue. And I think about there is good. Should I pop it up? Yes. I don't know what was with this pack of dimensionals, but they were a bit weird. Okay, so I'm going to put this on top. I'm not gluing it yet. Sometimes it kind of bends one way, so I always make it so it curls under. Helps it to stay in place. So I want that about there. And now I know where I can put my glue. And then I can add some later if I need it. But I find vellum's pretty good about just staying where you put it. All right. I wanted to give that soft, subtle look. Now, I have my ribbon here. I have one done with Purple Posy and one done with the dark Heather Highland Heather. Heather Highland. <laughs> Highland Heather. I don't know if I colored enough to put it all the way under, and if I did, I should have done it before. All right, I'm just going to do a little bow on the side. Let's pop this up. wasn't quite sure how I was going to put that on, but... It's decided now. I hope everyone is having fun in their craft room and is enjoying their holiday if you are on holidays. It's a beautiful day here today actually. We had a bit of snow and just before I came on it became sunny so I actually closed the blinds so I didn't get a reflection. I might need to tuck something under there but I'll wait till the very end. All right, now I do want a bow on this one, and I think I want the darker of the bows, but not quite as dark as this one, although that would have been fine too. Let's just put a little bow on the side. So like I said, these flowers I had cut out before I had the dies, so I'm just gonna use them up. So that's going to go there and then we're just going to, I'm going to glue some of them down and then pop some of the little inside ones up. And I'm going to put one up here because then I can hide a glue down under it. Because that is poking up more than I would like. Has anyone else been playing with some of the new products? They are pretty. And then I'll put a pearl on there. All right. So we've got light. Let's do dark. This one I think I'm going to put a little dimensional on because I'm going to put it off to the side. And then as soon as you put a dimensional on, you obviously have to put something in the middle. Well, I guess not obviously, but... This set is just so pretty. I didn't cut out a whole bunch of leaves, just this one little... Actually, I have some here. They're a different color of green, though, so... This one I actually even have sticky stuff on because I was using it, this for the stem and the leaves, I actually remembered. So I decided to um, use the adhesive backed stuff, which worked pretty well. Okay, let's just add a couple of these little ones using glue dots. I'm gonna put those in the middle And I'm doing off set colors. Oh, I like the dragonfly set. I'm going to use that for an upcoming class. 
Now, if you're careful, you can do these so that they're not poked through. And then All right, I think one right here. Do I have any other big ones? No. I could put a pearl there, but I think I'm going to end up using a lot of pearls in these little ones. Have you tried the vellum, the dragonfly on vellum, and then coloring the back of it? It's really pretty. Okay, now our bow. So let's grab a couple of these. These are fairly big is the only thing. So I don't know if I want them on all of my flowers. I'm just going to put a couple on. I could go back and color some. Pearls or rhinestones if I wanted to add some more. Or if I wanted to add smaller ones. I'll show you in the last card. I actually did that with some seaside spray. All right. So I'm going to take a little glue dot and stick it under there. And hopefully that will help keep this down a little bit. But I actually like when the vellum pops up a little bit. All right. So that's our first card. You make me smile. Oh, and the window sheet. Ooh, that's a good idea. Okay, so card number one is done. Card, and we'll get these out of the way because, oh, that's actually, yeah. We'll just put them up here. All right, the second card, one of the sheets of paper has these beautiful, large hydrangeas along the bottom and then along the top, like that poppy paper that we had. So you, if you're strategic in how you cut it, you can get quite a few cards out of one sheet. So what I've done is I've cut it into four by four, because if you do it five and a quarter, you'll only get two. If you do it, I'm pretty sure this is four. Oh no, it's four and three quarters. So I would only get two out of this one piece. And then I just trim it and I did save this blue stuff because it's nice for um, using sentiments on. Oh, thanks, Marty. So I have Highland Heather, which I'm waiting. I ran out of it. I'm waiting to get more Highland Heather. And then this is one of the new ones from the sets I showed you earlier. So this is the design that will be in the six by six packs in the next upcoming catalog. And then we have our little piece. It's so pretty. It needs nothing else. This is a really simple. These cards today are not hard at all. Because when you have such a beautiful paper, really, it does all the work for you. All right. So I have so this piece and then the next layer underneath. Then I have a piece of vellum that's the same width. And then this is from the stitched rectangles. And this greeting is from the set, The World is Better Because of You. And then I have my lighter ribbon for this one. So this is Purple Posy, but believe it or not, it's the dark Purple Posy. I could use the this ribbon. I was just trying to use different ones. Because if you have blends, then you need to have some of this ribbon in your stash because you can make any color you want. All right, so let's go ahead and layer these up. I don't think I'm going to put the ribbon around. No, I'm not. So I can go ahead and just look at how pretty it is on the other side. So this will be the new pattern when the new annual catalog comes out. They always have the six by six of all the color families and the in colors. So we don't know what the new in colors are. This is that's far away anyways, not till May. But these will be the designs on the new little six by six packs. So here's this piece. So pretty. Here's our bow. 
I'm going to go ahead and put this on the vellum so I know where I can put my glue. And I'm going to put it off to one side because I'm going to have my bow on the other side. So I'm going to go ahead and put glue here. I could have popped it up as well, but I'm just going to put it flat. You really don't want to cover up too much of this paper because it's so pretty. So then I'm going to add my bow and some gems. I could go ahead and add some more little um, of the little flowers, but I don't think I want to in this card. I think I want to keep it simple. So we'll add our bow, which is Purple Posy. You can see how you can just play with all the different shades of purple. I'm going to do it this way, actually. It stays on the card better. And then I'll put some of the gems using both these colors. So pretty. Oh my gosh. How quick and easy is that? When the paper is this gorgeous, but let me do Wink of Stella just on this flower. Oh, hi, Shannon. As my focus one. I could have done a pink ribbon too because this is kind of a focal flower, but. Lovely. So pretty. I think these could be a bit shorter, but I'll trim them later. All right, quick and simple. The paper, awesome. So this one features the paper, this one features the paper. The next one does not feature the paper. So the last one I think is my favorite. So in the die cuts, we have these cool um, blooms. So what I found the easiest way to get all these little things to pop up without doing this and then pushing the other ones down while you're doing it is take your little pokey tool and you push it down and kind of bend it to the middle of the each little flower and then you just go through and do that I found this the easiest way to do it and then you get them standing up really nicely so I've gone ahead and done it with this one so we have Seaside Spray, regular size, Seaside Spray, um, embossed with the subtle embossing folder. Yes, Fran, that was a trial and error tip, just so you know. It takes a few minutes, not a few minutes, yeah, maybe a minute to do that, but it's way easier than the alternative. Because you would, I was trying at first to go like this, but as soon as I push this one down, I flatten this one out. So when you do it that way, it stays nice and 3D. However, as soon as you put it in the envelope, it's going to flatten down anyways. But at least I will know when I sent it, it was beautiful. Vellum, stitched so sweetly, rectangle, stitched rectangle. Seaside spray. Now, another trick. If you want to have different color, you can just stamp under it, or you can take another one. Don't pop it up because it cuts out perfectly easily. And then just put that underneath and spend a moment trying to line it up. There is kind of a flat side. Um, there. So you can see there is this little flat side, I think where the stem goes. So if you can find that, then you can get it to match up. So there, that's pretty as well, because you can see the purple underneath. But for this card, I just want it all blue. And I have tried everything to get blue hydrangeas in my yard. But I guess we have the wrong type of soil. You need a certain type of soil. All right, so this one was the first one I did. And originally, I thought you were supposed to stamp the leaf. And then put this die cut over top and cut it out. So I did that and it did work, but I don't think you need to do that because the other two that I did, I just took pear pizzazz and just die cut it out. So 
if you have a card where you have stamped the leaf, and I'll try this tomorrow. Sorry, I just lost you. My computer, computer just rebooted. If you have an image where you've stamped it, you can do it in a darker color and do an overlay, and we'll do that tomorrow. But for today, we're just using one, because I want this card to be really simple. So I did remember to use the adhesive backing stuff for this one. So it's gonna make it really easy to adhere to my card. And I'm gonna put it on the vellum first so that I'll know where to put my adhesive so it won't show through on the vellum, is the plan. As we know, plans don't always go as planned. But hopefully it will. Okay. So there we have my leaf ready to put on, and I designed it so it would take up most of the space. I want it on an angle. Alright, that was easy, could have gone over a little bit more. Now for this one, I was hemming and hawing about what I should do. I'm going to try to put a few little dimensionals on the back and then I have two greetings, this one or this one. And I have ribbon that I colored. One I colored, uh, one I colored seaside spray light and the other one I colored seaside spray dark. So we can look and see which one we think is going to be the nicest. And then I did color some basic pearls using Seaside Spray Dark. And these are colored at least four times. You have to color them, wait a minute, go back, and then color again. Just trying to see comments. Oh, there we go. All right. So I'm going to attempt to put it just a few little dimensionals on the back. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut a really thin strip. And there's certain spots where it's a little bit bigger. And this could actually, you don't want it to show, so that's trying to be careful. And I could have done an adhesive sheet. Well, it would be easy to just put glue on. I do want it to have a bit of height though, so I'm going to take the time necessary to just add a few dimensionals and see how it goes. I agree, Marty. This was the one I could not wait to get my hands on. I think it's especially because I have a lot of hydrangeas in my garden. And I kind of have a thing for hydrangeas. So I don't need a lot. This is not very heavy. But so I want one in kind of each section of the flower. I'm looking for spots where Oh, that's good. It's good so far. One more, I think. You can go to town and put as many as you want on, but I'm just putting a few. So I'm looking for spots where it's a little bit wider or thicker, and that seems to be perfect. All right, now I'll just peel these off, which usually comes really easy. There we go. And I'm trying not to, even as I'm holding this, I can tell I'm squishing these down. So I'm trying to be careful. Now I'm looking for that little flat section again to tell me where the bottom is, and it's right here. And then if you do have some that have popped back down, then you can go here because you've already pushed them. It's way harder to do it this way though, I will say. So my little trick from doing it in the back is the best way to go. All right, now I know I can put glue here and here. And I could pop it up, but let's see if I can be careful with that. I'm also going to add a bow so I'll have a little more places to put glue. The white glue is not bad. Okay, so my thought is one here. Or one here when I tie the bow. So 
So those are the choices. Let's see, this says thank you. I appreciate all the little things you do. Isn't that gorgeous? Now, I did color these pearls, but we also have the um, in color ones. And the moonlight, misty moonlight, would actually go nice if you want to add a darker shade. And sometimes it's nice to add something a, a bit off. Same color family, but a bit off. So, I think I'll go with this one. Like I said, one was light and one was dark. I was just seeing if one was that much darker, and it's actually not that much darker. It looks like it is in the blends, but once you color it, and sometimes when I'm coloring these, I do go over it a few times. Depends how much color I want. All right, so one option is like this. And we can have that little thank you hanging there. The other option is just like this. What do you guys think? Thank you or I appreciate. And while you're deciding, I'll go ahead and add some gems, some pearls. What are they? Pearls. And when it, where I add these, I can also put a little glue dot underneath. But I know I'm good here because I have glue all over here. But over here, once I get this down, I can pop a glue dot underneath if that's what I do. Oh, thanks, Linda. This set is very fun to play with. So I'll be playing with this set all week. And then some, I'm sure. I'm just going to put one here in case you guys decide on this one. It really is easy to create when you have such beautiful products to work with. And I think I'll put a little one up here beside this one. This is my favorite. All right, any, thanks Minik. Any choices on which greeting? If not, I think I'm gonna go with this one. Although they're both kind of cute. The larger saying. All right, Patricia, I agree with you. The other one was cute, and maybe I'll do it on another one for a different card, but I agree, I like this one. And so I'm going to pop it up with dimensionals. And then I know I can go back and put a little glue dot underneath this to hold the vellum down you can see it's lifting up a little bit. Let's see. So this is one of the die cuts in the set and so is the little tag. So it's a great set. You get a lot of stuff with it. All right so let's go back and review our cards. Um, A little piece of there. Once you know where your layout is, you can go back and stick your glue dots underneath. And you can be strategic where you put your um, pearls and stuff in case there's spots where you do need to put a glue dot. Oh, and here's a little box I made. This is one of those, I don't know, triangle boxes where you slide it in. I made one, I think, on one of the Christmas make and takes. But here I made it using the incredible paper, the beautiful ribbon. And I made it a while before I had the proper dies. But I did have the leaf stamp, so I just cut it out, fussy cut it out. But there is a die for that as well. All right, so let's review. Here's our Seaside Spray. Tone on tone, everything the same color. These actually turned out really nice. They're a good color. Good color match. Then we have uh, Highland Heather, <laughs> Highland Heather, with that one piece of paper from the bottom. It's on the bottom and it's on the top of one of the sheets of designer series paper. And then we have another piece of the designer series paper with a vellum overlay. Just gives it a really feminine look, I think. Again, we've used that crinkled seam binding and we've colored it with the blends for actually all of the cards. So really you need to get some of that in your stash. 
especially unless you don't have blends. Um, you need to have the alcohol-based marker blends to color the ribbon. All right, those are my cards for today. Thank you for joining me. I Oh, thanks, Fran. It is a cute little box. I will be back tomorrow, Tuesday, and again, we will be playing with Hydrangea Hill suite of products. And I'm going to be showing you a technique where we do some stamping on a piece of 8.5 by 11 and uh, make it into four cards. Kind of like a one sheet wonder, but a little bit different. All right. Thanks for joining me. Stay tuned and watch my website for my upcoming classes. Just waiting to get the bundle. I will tell you, Fran, there is a lot you can do with just the paper. This one is just the paper. Would you have the paper? Yeah. That sentiment is from the stamp set, but if you have the paper, there's still a lot that you can do with it. The one that we're doing for our um, winter stamp camp is just the paper. So that's an easy one too. And I show you how to do this using different paper in one of my previous face, 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 Facebook lives. I was going to say FaceTime. Facebook live videos. All right. Oh, hi, Wanda. <laughs> you are late. You'll want to go back and look because the cards are really pretty. Okay. Yes, Diane. You will want to get this paper for sure. All right, thanks for joining me. I do appreciate it if you like or share my video. And I will see you tomorrow, Tuesday, for some more hydrangea fun. Thanks and enjoy your evening.